it's just you. Well, times can be tough. Hello, hello, hello! It's Chris with Multi Tank Addiction back again on another live stream. Hope you guys are doing well tonight. I see that we have some hashtag newsletters in the chat. Those are those of you that came from Susan's stream. Thank you with the good old hashtag newsletter. Hope everybody is doing well. Chewy got snow last night. Pam was first in the stream today. <laughs> she wasn't just first, she was firstest. Ain't that right, Pam? So, a great big hello to everybody. Let's see here. Stephanie Berry, how are you doing today? James with Fish Room Fever. Chewy LTD. Caleb Aquatics, how are you doing? Melvin with QSA. Anthony's Fishy Friends, how are you doing? Angie, hey Angie, how you doing? The Gen Gingers, the, 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 the Jeff, I fat, I fat tongued that one. The Zen Ginger, how are you doing? The Noxky Tanks is in the house, GRB. Good day, mate. Uh, let's see here. Eight inches of snow. Forget that noise. Aqua Balls is in the house. And I think I am caught up on the chat. Aqua Balls, you know what? I have had fire mouse. I've got two right now, actually, in my 300 gallon, along with everybody else in there. And uh, they have, they're, in the past, they've had a bad reputation. I, I might have gotten uh, less than stellar fish. I don't know. But they got a bad reputation in the past. And I just kind of threw them in there because I knew they were from the same general region and uh, I knew that they would get along with whatever's going on in there. Well, it turns out, uh, I don't know if it's a male or a female, but the one that I threw in there at the time, I threw in there with a convict and it's pretty much paired up with that convict. They're like, they're virtually the same size, they're full grown, I'd say probably four plus inches. They're bigger than my Akara, but they're they're looking. He's it's looking good. It's looking real good, actually. Um, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to the drawing. We did start this drawing uh, a couple weeks ago, but um, I had made a I had set up in a collaboration. with uh with rack and of of river life by the way rack of river life i had set up a collaboration with rack and we were talking about this cardinal tetra for project piaba so i went ahead and did that drawing before completing this drawing so that i could get that finished up and sent off to him so that he can have it framed and all of that good stuff of course I haven't sent it out but it's 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 ready to go out <laughs> maybe I'll be able to get it sent out to sometime this week I don't know might might be able to get it sent out after the, the stream the, the real issue isn't sending it out it's getting it getting it scanned more than anything else I have to get it scanned so that I will be able to have the image available for people to purchase so Anthony's fishy friends what's it here what's it? <laughs> aqua balls is getting him some fire mounts it's 
it's so funny. I went to, uh, oh, geez, what was it? It was PetSmart. I went to PetSmart this, this weekend with the wife. And, hey, Carrie, how you doing? Glad to see you're in here. And they had some angelfish. I was actually there to get a cara. I wanted to get some more Akara so I could the electric blue Akara so that I could start breeding them again because I've only got a, I've only got one pair right now and I'd like to put a couple more pair in the rack and see if I can get a couple more pair breeding at the same time Don Gallagher's in the house how's it going Don So, we were there to get a Cara, and I left with Angelfish, if that makes any sense at all. Which, I'm sure it doesn't, because, well, maybe it does. Because it's me. But, I, uh, I didn't have high hopes for these Angelfish, because, let's be frank, they came from PetSmart. And the fish that were in that tank were already sick. There was a sick fish in the tank. It wasn't doing well. There was a dead fish at the bottom of the tank. And um, so I stuck them in a quarantine tank. One of them has completely disappeared. I have no idea where it's at. It's a 10 gallon that doesn't have anything in it at all. There's nothing in it. It's just got gravel on the bottom. And that's it. There's no, there's no nothing. And it's disappeared completely. My guess is it decided to be a jumper. So I'll be looking for that corpse later. But yeah. No, Anna, that is not normal. Female's belly does not turn red on an electric blue Akara. Electric blue Akara are one color. Uh, the, the coloration is actually, um, it's always blue. The only difference is that when they become, they come to a breeding state, their face will turn black and sometimes around the caudal fin area it'll start to turn black but they don't turn red that's not normal crystals pets and plants how you doing mr b's in the house i got brandon and angie rockford fish keeping how you doing Yes, I do uh, aquarium fish art. Right now, I'm actually doing... Uh, I've got a project going on. I see you, D. I've got a project going on with Project Piava where I'm going... I'm doing... I'm going to be doing a bunch of drawings and I'm going to turn them into... Peduncle area. The peduncle area. Very dark red. That's... Are you talking about near the anal fan area? Um, that's unusual. That's not normal, Anna. Send me a picture. Uh, yeah, send me a picture on my phone. Five minute lag already. The common Akara has red, but the electric blue Akara has only blue. Yes, Zen, Zen Ginger. You may not have an electric blue Akara. It might have. I mean, when the electric, when the blue Akara, not the electric blue, but the blue Akara. I do not do logos. Sorry, Rockford. When the blue Akara is in breeding colors, there's red, and the blue turns. 
vibrant like an electric blue Akara is, but it's not that electric blue color all the time. Only during its breeding period. It was trying to attract a mate. I hope that helps. And uh, yeah, send me a picture, and I'll I'll be able to help you a little bit better off offline. Because that's I have to say that's probably one of my my biggest strengths is South American cichlids and the Acaras the. The, electric, the German Blue Ram, the Bolivian Ram, Golden Ram, they're all would have to say those are probably my strength in general. It's the smaller cichlids. What I call smaller cichlids. I call Oscars medium sized cichlids. So. And they get up to 18 inches. <laughs> at least in captivity all right so yeah um what i was saying about the whole project piaba thing is is that i'm doing this to create a coloring book for project piaba uh i do all the line work first which i've already done the line work for this drawing and i'm going to be collecting a bunch of my drawings together to create a coloring book for project piaba they're all fishes That's true, Chewy. I mean, it is a hybrid after all, the electric blue. So that wouldn't be that wouldn't be much of a stretch now, would it, Chewy? the brush pen thank you candy I got it ant problem in the fish room uh, and it's it's sugar ants too they great to work with Chris this one is really nice <laughs> I have to say Anna I didn't did a drawing today MTA it's not as nice oh it's I'm sure it is it's just different D what'd you draw D I'm sure it was nice in its own right All right, so most of this stuff is going to get I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put lines here even though I didn't draw them on this drawing because I know that this fish has these lines. Uh, 
Ah, uh, sugar ants. I'm going to have to get freaking ant traps. There's a little one of Pam. Well, I know you did a video on Pam's drawings. Chris, beautiful work on the Tetra and little ones of Piaba. I didn't even notice that Wendy was promoting it. <laughs> that's that's my wonderful wife for you. She'll uh, she'll sneak stuff in there on on me, not telling me that she's doing it. That's my that's nice of her. I have the greatest wife ever. Let's see here. Let's get some more of these lines in here. Ridiculous for this time of year. Yeah. You guys are having. Hey, we had uncharacteristically cold weather today, too. Not nearly as cold as what you guys call cold, because I was still able to wear shorts. Ha! That's right. I still wear shorts. I am a little bit crazy, though. Okay, not a little bit. I'll admit it. I am very crazy. But either way, I still... I still wore shorts today. I left the house this morning and it was like 30. And yeah, they, they asked me if I was okay when I showed up to work because I was like, I was wearing shorts. And they're like, are you okay? You do know it's cold outside. And I go, yeah, but it won't be for long. And it warmed up. It warmed up. I think the high today was like 50 something. It was enough for me not to worry about. I really like how this, this is turning out, I have to say. Okay, so I was going to put some orange in this because we have about six inches of snow and ice is bad too. Lots of wrecks. Dang, you guys are getting crappy weather. Then again, if we got six inches of snow at all, the entire, well, the entire region would shut down. We get, a, we get like a half an inch of snow and that's enough for Portland to stop doing anything. But you also got to remember that in my area, we, besides the fact that we don't really get snow that all that often, um, and a good portion of the population is from California, so they don't know how to drive in snow. Um, also got to take into consideration that the majority of this region is a valley it's the Willamette Valley so everything is uphill I mean Vancouver the city of Vancouver is like a hundred feet above sea level and to go anywhere in this area like into Portland or anything like that it's all uphill so unless you have four-wheel drive <laughs> you can't go The other problem is that people around here seem to think that four-wheel drive means that four-wheel stop works as well. But it really doesn't. 
and they always find out the hard way and start telling people not to go on the certain streets because they're notorious for accidents and they don't listen and then they have accidents and yeah So I am I am recharging this red with a little bit of orange. Actually, the actual color is poppy red. But um, I'm I went over I'm going over the previous color with a slightly oranger color because the original image. I don't know if you guys have ever looked at a firemouth up close. It's not really red. It's more of an orange. Their throat and gill plate and everything is more of an orangish color. So, going over it with a slightly orangey-ish colored red, which is the poppy red, to add a little bit of orange tint to it, to change the shade just a tad. I'm going to hit the belly. Hey, hey, the only female in the tank, you don't need to try and kill her. She's nice. Stop it. You stop it, mister. Wait, right. I got an African cichlid, a couple African cichlids in this tank. And there's only one female in this 50 long. And she is always being harassed and not in a good way. They're always nipping at her fins. And she's one of the biggest fish in the tank too and she's just so dang docile that she she runs away and she's always like up against an edge somewhere trying to just get out of their way so that they would leave her alone but being african cichlids they're not very nice to her angelfish or your daffodils hmm. been a while since I've done actually yeah high school since I've done any flowers I haven't done any flowers since high school so I'm going to use my my blending pencil also called a burnishing pencil to fill in because I don't really want to burnish this with the pigment I'm going to show you what a burnishing pencil does. Okay, so you got this. Those of you that aren't artistically inclined, you may not know what these pencil. There's a pencil. This is called a colorless burnishing pencil. And burnishing is where you fill all of the the paper up with the pigment. And you'll notice when you look at this that. I I'm coloring with a colorless pencil and I'm basically I'm picking up the pigment and moving it around to fill in all of the little gaps in some cases it actually makes colors more vibrant in other cases it makes them dull it all depends on how much pigment was originally there when you started That, that was behind me. Old Red is doing his thing too. Chasing the, uh, the Starry Night Cichlid. I did notice one thing when I got that cyanobacteria out of that 300 gallon aquarium. Daffodil cichlids. I know. <laughs> I was, I'm sorry. 
My poor humor. Sorry, Rock Rockford. I, uh, I was joking around. I didn't... I'm easily distracted, too, so... So, there we go. Let's see. I want to see what you guys see. Alright. So, we need to get some... We need to get some some shading going on in here, some coloration. Let's see. It's not, um, not a hockey person. So, frog spawn candy. Alright. Okay, so we'll use this um, face. And we're gonna put this actually. Put this in here. Very, very lightly trying to fill this in with black because I don't want a lot of pigment in there. Fish don't like Tuesdays because. Usually the rest of the week, I don't come into the fish room until I get off work in the evening. And that means that what I'm reacting to is is the fish making their splishy, splashy sounds like, feed me, daddy. And they're still not going to get food until 7.45. I have an alarm set to remind me to feed my fish. Oh. <laughs> no. I apologize. Got a little bit of heartburn. Hiccup induced heartburn. Alright, so we got that and then Got this, and this goes like this. Nice to try to make it to games every now and then. I wish I could. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, Anna. Um, your quarries, your two green quarries, are doing fabulous in in that fifty long. There's going to be a video coming out on uh, Saturday morning at six a.m. my time. So it'll be available for your viewing pleasure. But uh, your quarries will be in that video, Anna. So if you want to see them up close and personal, it's the uh, the light, the Nikru light review and comparison video that I'm putting out. That way, I actually, I've, me and I talked to uh, to James with Fish Room Fever, and we I have I always have at least one person that I bounce stuff off of. Um, <coughs> so.
Sometimes it's James. Sometimes it's Scott. Sometimes it's John with KG Tropicals. But there's always somebody that I bounce stuff off of just to see what they think of the video. Because it helps to have an outsider's perspective as to whether or not the video is actually as good as you think it is. So I, I prefer to try to do that with with people just so that they, you know, hey, tell me what you think. I, I made it a, a uh, an unlisted video last night and I let a bunch of people watch it and nobody commented so I pulled it and and then I changed it so I deleted the, the one that I put in there and James was very helpful because I didn't realize that the audio was being was getting you know destroyed by the background music so I fixed that and then I reposted it and he didn't even know that there was a whole section that I was talking about where I was talking about features of the light because the background music was messing with it so much so when I adjusted the background music so it wasn't so loud he was able to hear that and he was like oh yeah hey that's actually more what I was talking about so turned out it fixed a couple things so I'm hoping that you guys will enjoy that video if you watch it I really appreciate it um, but this is a big but I I don't know if you guys have heard of Peter McKinnon he's pretty big he's a pretty big uh, youtuber he is not in the aquarium hobby he's a uh, he's a YouTube photography guy he is the unofficial king of photography on YouTube. And he put out a video earlier this it was last week, I think. He put out a video last week and it inspired me. So I'm hoping you guys will watch this video that's, that I come out with here in the near future. I haven't quite figured out what the name is going to be for certain. I mean, there have been many ideas that have been bouncing around in my head. And I'm trying to to make sure that it's it's something that doesn't get confused with anything else. Um, but... You want to see a well, well developed and well created short film, and I do mean short, like fifteen minutes long short. Peter McKinnon has a, a, a clip or a video that's called "The Mountains Won't Remember Me." It's I think it's five days old now. It inspired me to make a video, and I spent like an hour and a half this morning just taking video just recording video and I'm looking forward to the editing process I expect that editing is going to take a lot longer a lot longer let's see if this is the right blue it is the right blue <laughs> so Hopefully, you guys will take the opportunity or take take the time to check out that video when it comes out. Um, thinking that I'm going to name it. Thank you, Candy. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to name it "Multi Tank Addiction for the Love of Fish Keeping." I think that's the name. I'm not positive yet, but I'm I'm pretty sure that that's going to be the name. And. 
it's it's not going to be like any of my other videos it's not it, it's I'm going to attempt to tell a story with the video without actually telling a story you know what I mean Oh, I hate when you get a call and it kicks you from YouTube too, Stephanie. I don't want you to get kicked from YouTube. I like you here. So here's a strange thing. This whole fish is blue, red, orange. What about blue, gray? And what color is its eyes? Its eyes are green. Yeah, isn't that strange? this like that so it's like well you can't change it now I'm not positive yet Anna but I'm pretty sure that that's going to end up being the name So yeah, keep an eye out for that. I would greatly appreciate feedback on that video when it does come out. Um, and I'll be talking more about that when it gets closer to uh, when it gets closer to completion time. Thank you, Stephanie. There's that. Um, we need to get. Right, what color brown is it? It's a cool gray. Okay, 70% cool gray. That means it should have a tint of blue to it. <laughs> Anna, I know that's the truth, Anna. Anna's been one of my subscribers for, well, as far back as I can remember when it comes to my YouTube channel. Um, guys, remember Joe Munez? Joe's actually a subscriber from my old channel. My channel before Multi Tank Addiction was uh, the Coolinator, which I haven't posted a video on that in a couple years. And Joe is a subscriber from that channel. Miss Joe. You want to see the reference photo? I will show you guys the reference photo. Let me uh, let me switch over to that real quick. Do, 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 do. And I know. Calgary to Banff. Yeah. That's a great video. It really is. Alright. Let's move this. Oh, that's the wrong scene. Oh, I hate it when it does this. Let's change this to studio. Okay, let's see here. Subject, picture. 
Move it up. There. There's a closer view of the subject. My husband, who's an artist, former tattoo artist, said he loves the art I want from you. That's so cool. Thank you, Zen Ginger. Tell him how much I appreciate that. I really do appreciate that. That means a lot to me. So nobody's seen Joe in a while. That sucks. I hope he comes back soon. Alright, so there's that, and different joke, Joe Coffee. Yes, it is a fire mouth, Anna. I know that Anna can barely see this because she's watching this on her on her phone, so that is why. I I moved the the sample drawing or the sample image out of the corner and made it a little bit bigger. Oh, he did. That's that stinks. Thank you, Don. This channel will be deleted soon unless I'm really losing it, which is possible. <laughs> Joe Munoz. Alright, so. Let me do the outline in black first. There we go. It's just a stock photo, Stephanie. Nope, I was just I just grabbed a photo off the interwebs to do so that I could do a coloring book drawing really. I wasn't planning originally on actually coloring this fish up, but in fact I didn't get an okay for the stream. Oh look at that. I'm not sub now. Oh, look at that. That's terrible. You need to fix that, Bob. <laughs> Please fix that, Bob. <laughs> That's okay. We got time. <sighs> Looks like YouTube's doing its wonderful magic tricks with subscribers and notifications again.
Okay, so this one is going to be this, though. Okay, where's that brush? Okay, and I'm not getting... By the way, hi Joe Coffee. I didn't say hi to you when, earlier when I noticed that you were in here. I apologize. I hope you'll forgive me for not noticing you right away. However, I am drawing, so it's kind of hard to focus on people in the chat when I'm looking down at a piece of paper. So there's that, too. My favorite things about fire mouse and a lot of South American cichlids a lot of South American cichlids when you think about it have this beautiful little highlight it's it's really a highlight it's just a little red stripe sometimes it's yellow sometimes it's a very bright orange but Just a little stripe along the top of the dorsal fin to highlight the edge of the fin. I will, Don. Thank you for uh, bringing that to my attention. I was not aware that he was planning on quitting YouTube. He was a really nice guy. I mean, every time I saw him in uh, the chat, I would say, Yo, Joe. Because Joe would always call. He'd say, hey, Coolinator. Instead of calling me MTA, he always called me Coolinator because that was my other channel. So. And a lot of people would ask him what the heck he's talking about. <laughs> but. Yeah. Okay, let's see if we'll get the color finished on this before stream is over tonight. Do, 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 do. Uh, run Pam Scott is here to chase you around the desk Psst. thank you Don
There he is, my brother from another mother, Scott McLaughlin. How are you doing today, bro? Thank you, Melvin. I have not watched the one that D put out yet on Pam, but I saw it. I did plan on watching it later on today after I got home and after the stream is off. So don't you worry, D. I will watch it because everybody loves D. I am taking a little bit of work 10 hours today. What in the heck would you do something crazy like that for, Scott? Oh, yeah. To pay the bills. That's right. <laughs> and then I'm over here. I worked, I worked four and a half hours, but it was nonstop today. Oh my gosh, I hadn't even mentioned that. We were slammed in deliveries today. I had 15 deliveries in four and a half hours. I think it was 15. It might have been 17. Last time I counted it was 15, but that was that was like an hour before I was done for the day. I, I got five deliveries right at 10.30 when I got there. Hello, lurking about multitasking. New Endler Angler. New Eng New England Endler. New New Endler England. But yeah, I got five deliveries at the ex at the same time. They all wanted to be delivered to the same time too. They all wanted to be delivered at eleven o'clock. And I'm like, uh, guys. I'm all by myself. I can't. I can't deliver to all these places at the same time. And they're like, figure it out. Unfortunately, when I'm the only driver on Mondays and Tuesdays, I just kind of have to figure it out, which is fine. I actually find it more, more fun, more entertaining. And it makes my brain, it make, makes me think I have to plan my trips out every time I leave the building. I work at Panera Bread, Anna. Matter of fact, it would not surprise me if my boss, if her husband is lurking in the background. She said she, her and her husband... I've watched a couple of my videos and I told them to check out my streams on Tuesdays. They know that that's the reason why, she knows that that's the reason why I, I want it off. I want to be off by 3 o'clock on Tuesdays so that I can come home, prepare a drawing, sit down with you guys, talk and draw. It's the only day that I don't work. A full eight hours. This is really cool. Actually, one of the best best managers I've ever worked for. Um, saying a lot considering I'm in my mid forties now. I see the chat out of the corner of my eye. Mexican cichlids that are endangered. Chewy. Chewy always has the best questions. Not that anybody else doesn't have really good questions. Because Anna, I liked your question too. Anaphilophus Lysani is the only one that comes to mind.
So Thursday, I should be getting my, what I like to call my, my care package from API. And this is predominantly the stuff that I, I asked for, for um, my tank, my 50 long here that's next to me that I put the, uh, the Nike light on. Uh, the filter is an API Philstar and the, the rep said that she would send me some parts to the filter because I can't buy the filter anywhere anymore unless I buy the whole filter online and I don't want to buy a whole new filter just to to replace some hose parts so she was kind enough to offer to send me the parts and I am looking forward to that so that I can fix this filter so that it doesn't do a stupid nasty sucking sound when the water level gets a little bit low I don't think I'm gonna be able to complete this drawing in the next few minutes if I remember correctly is this the day that my cow follows me does anyone remember if the fish tank barn follows me on on Tuesday can't remember I think it is somebody checked his, to make sure that Mike is going to be streaming today that would be awesome too because if he's not going to be streaming I'm just going to keep going until the drawing is done which will probably only be about five or ten more minutes can't get play you can't get paid if you're spending money playing golf I agree. thank you chewy Yes, I am taking a little bit of artistic license because these ancillary fins, the caudal fin, the anal fin, and the dorsal fin are not all blue. They have lines of blue with with actually uh, like a, a blood red in the middle of it. Pam got in trouble. Pam foul anyway. <laughs> Did Pam get caught by the stream Streamlabs bot? Stinking green severum. Hey, Rob Bull's in the house. The funny thing is that I'm not even using Streamlabs. I am using regular OBS, but I have I have Streamlabs, so I use some of their their widgets, if you will, to. Uh, amplify the streaming experience so Joe not that sign will be candy is always yelling at me but I am I can hear a mouse on the other side of the fish room. In all honesty, I hope one of those stupid mice climbs up on top of one of these tanks and ends up in a cichlid tank. That's happened in the past. When I had the 125 over here next to me and it was lower, the stupid mouse climbed up on the tank then leaned in to go get some water and Tiger got a free meal right when I was sitting next to the tank too. K 
KG Cichlids, how are you doing? All right. All that's left is the caudal fin. I'm going to go ahead and do this. It's only going to be like a minute over. So uh, we're going to use, let's see here. We're going to have our, our code word be, why don't, why don't we have our code word be hashtag fire mouth? That way when we go over and we uh, mob our buddy Mike Howe at the fish tank barn, say hashtag fire mouth as the code word. J.H. shows up at the last minute. How's it going, Joseph? I am going to finish this drawing, and then I am going to head over there myself. So if you guys want to go ahead and head over there now, um, check out my Facebook page. Uh, in a little while, I'm going to take a photograph of this, and I will post it on my Facebook page for you to view afterwards. So... Just remember, guys and gals, we're feeding the addiction one tank at a time through education and inspiration. And I hope you have a wonderful night. Bye now. When it's just you, well, times can be tough. When it's